your girl Shay. Today I'm going to be taking you on a nail room tour. This is a highly anticipated video and I'm beyond excited to show you guys my nail room. I finally have it exactly where I want it to be. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So this is the first thing you see when you come into my nail room. You're going to see my nail desk along with my logo and my certifications and where I sit. As I walk in on my right, you're going to see my acrylic wall. I get a lot of compliments on this acrylic wall. I purchased the acrylic um, holders from Amazon. These are from Amazon. And I went ahead and nailed these in. On along the sides are green panels that you get that you see a lot of people put on the walls of their rooms and stuff like that. I went ahead and cut them to fit the shape that I wanted to make this little area stand out. I have a lot of my acrylic powder collections here that I have on display for my clients, as well as my gel polishes, glitters, acrylic paints, and top coats, foil glues, all of that. Down here, I have a table that I also purchased off of Amazon. Um, with a kit bag that I give my students for one-on-one -on -one sessions and classes. Um, I just have a Bath and Body Works candle holder there as well. All right, so back to my desk. I have it facing my door so that way I can see, ignore my ring lights. So this is where I sit. Nothing too spectacular. This is where I have my clients sit along with the armrest. Inside of the cabinet, I have foils, nail tips, decals, stickers, rhinestones. On this side, I have just a couple of drawers that just have my nail files, some glues, the remote to the TV, top coat, sanding bands, nothing special. Over here, you guys, I have this shelf that I purchased off of Amazon. I thought it would be cute to add some cotton balls to this container. It's like a little candy jar that I got from Ross. Um, I also have my sanitizer and um, my dental bibs for my acrylic. And I also have a lot of cleaning supplies and stuff like that that I keep in here as well as my gloves. Okay, this is my back wall. Right here, I have um, just some fall things out because I'm really excited for fall even though it's only July. But I just have that out on display because I am going to be doing a video soon. And I am thinking about just having that area um, decorated for the seasons just to kind of set the tone for my clients when they come in. Um, right there, I have my consent forms. And in these drawers, I just have basically um, just bulk supplies and things like that. A TV. And right here is just a picture of me that I did a couple years ago. I thought it would look really good. Um, with my nail decor just because it definitely showcased my blue nails off really well in this picture. Um, this back wall I get asked about a lot. This is just contact paper because I do stay in an apartment and we're not allowed to paint or anything like that. So I did want to get something that wouldn't, you know, mess up the walls. So this contact paper you can definitely find off of Amazon as well. And it only took me three rolls to kind of get this wall done. So this is just an overview of my back wall. Right here, I went ahead and decided to put some more green panel work over the closet doors that I have in my room. I do plan on getting a neon sign in my logo. Um, that says Polished by Shea. So if you wanna follow my nail account, you definitely can at Polished by Shea.
end to my nail room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you can, please like, comment, and subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I also inspired you guys to start new things in your nail room tour as well, and I'll catch you in another video.